Here's why you need to stop jacking up your midterm rental insurance rates. The insurance companies are catching on. Now, there is a caveat to what I'm saying. Stop jacking up your rates with the wrong kind of paper trail, or as I like to say, digital crumbs. What I'm trying to say is the following. We have all of our prices at a premium online. That way we do not come off as a bait and switch because we understand that the fundamentals of the human experience is still, or it still applies to corporations because if you're currently getting value from watching this video, you'll want to make sure you take a second and click below to grab the midterm rental insurance blueprint to help accelerate your process in being able to land these midterm rental insurance contracts with respect to your marketplace. Make sure you click the button below and grab it and continue on with the gems in this video. People run corporations. And if I see that, hey, it's Joe Schmo, and I know Joe Schmo's got some fat pockets, so usually rent is $4,500 a month, but because I saw you pull up in a really nice car, it's gonna be $9,000 for you. That is not gonna work, and that is the literally fastest way that you can falter or at least create an issue or fail to build a sounding relationship. Because as I always say, I always focus on the contact before I focus on the contract. So it's in our best interest to make sure that that relationship from the get go is not tarnished because we have the, you know, we're not going to call it greed, but we've identified that somebody on the other side has a lot of money and therefore we want to increase our rates. That's not how it works. That's, this is why and this is very important, especially for us who have different rates online versus what might be reflective of Zillow or Furnished Finder or Airbnb. It's important that all those are elevated to begin with. Now for Furnished Finder, I try to kind of level set, but you don't want to run into an issue where the price is different somewhere else. I uh, want to keep it at a premium because if anything, everyone loves getting a deal, right? So if anything with your partners, it's actually going to reflect well. And I'm speaking from experience. I just had a, a conversation with a corporate partner who honestly gave me that feedback on one of our listings so that's why i'm sharing it with you because i don't want it to happen to you and by our rule of thumb our prices you know either online just the level set so people are not hitting the sub and they, they it's elevated and this is why on zillow it's elevated sometimes you get messages like, why are your prices so high or how could you is this some kind of joke and we say this is corporate housing it's premium houses it's a great product and everything is included soup to nuts all you have to do is bring it with your bag this is our reason for it another thing that you can do in your listings and just call out that you can actually have different types of tiers for your rates right so you don't have to have disclose it but say you can reach out to us directly for discounted rates for longer stays and then ie three months six nine to twelve months let them know that there is actually an opportunity for the premium rate that they see to be negotiated if they stay and book longer for you because now there's going to be some intrigue of i wonder if i should book for the first three months to get a discount for the first month which is more of a premium right so that is a way that you can just back into the number that you wanted anyway so let's say you really wanted to take home five thousand and you had the original listing at nine thousand for first month if they do three months it's eight thousand if they do six months then it's seven thousand you got your number anyway, right? You wanted to clear that $5,000 mark. Let's say your overhead was 2000, whatever that is, you've cleared it, right? So it's important that you back into that number and you do not start leaving a bunch of unconsistent digital footprints, as I call it, because the digital footprints online is your brand and your brand needs to be consistent. Just like your logo is consistent. You want to make sure your pricing is consistent if you're displaying them, because while I understand, trust me, that our prices are dynamic. One disclaimer or expectation that I like to set is the price that you see is dynamic. It may not be reflective. Always reach out for quotes. That's another way to get around that. That way, if they reach out to you and your price is higher, saying yes, you know, our prices are dynamic with respect to where we are 
in their industry but you don't want that, that gap to be so far off maybe a couple hundred bucks off you don't want it to be a couple of thousand off because now it's really bait and switch just because you know the insurance company is talking to you and guess what they're talking as much as we're talking and they understand the game we're playing and by the way the game we're playing isn't a game that is new this game has been around for centuries right corporate housing this is what we're doing it's corporate housing mid or rental is just a terminology that we use just like sdr airbnb etc those words sdr for short term rental mtr mid to rental airbnb those are internal operating words the big industry that pillars the big the oakwoods of the world the big corporate housing individuals that have been around for a while and have done this and it's always the relationship that matters so it's important that you set a strong foundation and stop jacking up your prices with the wrong kind of digital footprints attached to that otherwise run it up run the play charge more if you have a better product and you're solving a big problem you should get rewarded for it just like we get rewarded for it and just like the rest of our mastermind students do as well if you get value from watching this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to get more videos like this but even easier than that make sure you click the how to price your midterm rental for insurance companies video and i'll see you next time